Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. It's, uh, I think the last video I, I made, I said it was January. <laughs> it's it's uh, December 24th, 2013. Ah. Look at that, I got that at Walgreens the other day. I think the regular price is $14. $14. It was $9. I think, you know, about $10. The bulbs are in there and roots hang down into the water. I love plants. I used to do really well with plants. I used to be able to say that I had a green thumb. And then years ago, quite a few years ago, every plant I got died. Not sure what happened, but anyway, I got that. Got it sitting over there. Uh, I got this today from my daughter and my son-in-law. I got this last year or maybe a year. I got this once or twice before from a smoked salmon. It really tastes good. Oh, okay, you can't see it. And I'm not going to open it up, you know, right now. Refrigerate after opening. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any today. We're having turkey tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to have this for dinner tonight or not. Every year about this time, the apartment complex... You know, sends everybody a Christmas card or whatever. And every year about this time, I get a note stuck on my door, and I and I always think, well, they already uh, they already sent the Christmas card, and it's uh, every my lease comes up February 28th, I guess of each year, and so I pay $630 a month now. So I'll be taking the year's lease, so it'll be going to 660 a month. That'd be $30 more a month. I'm on a limited income, so really my, every year I'm really getting less money. I mean, I'm going to get, I think, 1.5 from Social Security, but everything goes, you know, 1.5% increase. Everything goes up. I pay more for food and everything. So, anyway, wanted to take this opportunity to wish you all a very, uh, this is Christmas Eve, want to wish you a very Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or whatever kind of holiday uh, you're having, wanted to uh, say please enjoy it and I hope you have a great 2014 or if you're on some other calendar like a Jewish calendar or a Chinese calendar and I don't know what the year is you know 26,000 or something whatever it is I saw something on the internet the other day oh I know what it was you know there's Wikipedia which I use a lot for my blog if you happen to read my blog I always try to remember to give credit but I go to Wikipedia and look up information and that goes inside my blog a lot of my blog entries but there's a conservative Wikipedia uh, site and man I went and looked up the entries on that for uh, how old the earth is and a whole bunch of other things and wow I mean they think they think it's what was it 6,000 years old or 9,000 years old or something and they give their information in there and they say you know scientifically it's never been proven that that uh, carbon dating works and uh, everything it's just just amazing so I'm not sure what kind of calendar they're using but two I was reading a while back about I'm not sure if I blogged about it or not but how you know here in December 25th is Christmas and the birth of Jesus 
and whatever. And of course, the uh, I was reading about the different dates that, that the church was trying to decide on when was when was Jesus' birthday going to be, and it was all over the place. It could have been any place. Could have been in March. Could have been could have been anywhere that his that his uh, birth could have been. And the Catholic Church decided that it was to be December 25th. And the reason that they decided was because there was uh, pagan holidays, which were very, very popular. So they, you know, could put Christmas there, birth of Jesus, and uh, try to convince some of these people to come over that our holiday was, you know, more fun or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe on a Christmas video I shouldn't be mentioning this. It just breaks my heart every day when you when you see the new. Like I go to CNN website. Uh, every day there's a child shot, and I forget. I think this one was 14 years old, and apparently she was coming in a window. I guess at night. Or something if if you believe this and uh, the stepfather shot her and killed her and then the story the other day was a man was having an argument with his girlfriend and she was accusing him of having an affair and he takes and loads his I think a rifle I know it wasn't a handgun and then he's sitting down I guess in the living room and he's banging the the gun the rifle on the floor and uh, to emphasize his manliness and his points or whatever and the gun went off shot a hole in the ceiling and his 12 year old or well I guess it was they said it was his boyfriend or girlfriend it shot a little what 12 year old girl upstairs Thank God she wasn't, you know, killed. But I'm not anti-gun. People who read my blog will think that I am and leave some hateful comments. I'm not anti-gun. I think that there should be, and I always, from the very beginning, back before they started the electronic background check and everything, I always said that they needed to do real background checks on somebody. The police needed to take two or three days. They needed to go out and talk to neighbors, talk to family, talk to people, you know, at work and actually do an event and talk to the person and actually do, you know, an investigation and doing it over, you know, doing a computer check just to see if the person is on the 10 most wanted list of the FBI or something is not adequate. There are tons of people being accidentally shot. Uh, there's the instructor who was teaching a concealed weapons permit class that shot one of his students accidentally. Um, anyway, I think there should be real background checks done. And another thing that I think would help, but it's not going to happen, and because we also have a problem with states, you know, each state has its own uh, regulations and laws, and it's difficult. But, so this isn't going to work, but I wish something like this would happen, and that would be if you accidentally shoot somebody, or if you shoot, you know, even if you shoot somebody by accident, if there's an injury, even a scratch, like the shooting here locally a few months ago or last year where a guy was in Walmart and reaching for his wallet and he accidentally shot himself in the ass and the fragments from the bullet hit a woman and her little child, that woman and the little child, were, or even the guy that got shot in the ass wasn't hurt bad. But I, if there's any, I would, if I can wave a magic wand, I would, I'd make it a, a law that if you have something like that happen, that's it. Once, you know, it's a once, it'd be a one strike situation. You would not ever be able to own a weapon and you couldn't be around where there were weapons. You'd have to have something like that in there because and you'd have people say, well, I don't own it, but you know. Uh, my 
wife owns all the weapons or something. So you'd have to have a thing you couldn't, that you couldn't own, carry, or be around weapons. Of course, being around weapons, you'd have to be, you know, a little bit uh, lenient one way or the other. But the reason for having something like that would be at once it, the word went out and once people saw that it was serious, then you'd have the guys who love their fucking guns. And I, some of them were good friends of mine and they were good people and I liked them, but they, they were fucking crazy. Uh, talking about guns all the time, uh, cleaning their guns all the time, talking about they're going to, and not just talking about it, but buying uh, cases so they could load ammo and bury it in the ground so the government wouldn't come and take their guns away from them. I mean, just crazy. It's the people, I have no problem with people owning guns. The problem is the people who are so fanatic about it, they're the ones who shouldn't own guns. Which is a bit of a problem because the people who aren't crazy about it aren't that wouldn't be that much, you know, for having a gun. The people who have all the guns are the people who, you know, keep buying guns and have I knew a guy, a friend of mine, worked with him. He must have had thirty or forty handguns. Probably a damn good investment. <laughs> well, I know it was a damn good investment. Uh Guns go up in value more than stocks or gold or anything else. But anyway, back to my, I'm rambling again. If you really, if you made it where if there was any kind of, an, of course, people would be covering it up. Just like the guy that got shot in the ass, he took off running. And somebody, the guy who shot, what was that? Uh shot something, the gun went off accidentally and he killed a child or whatever. He apparently told everybody, I'll say that the gun fell off the, onto the floor instead of the fact that he was, oh, that was, a, he was, well, it wasn't a child. It was, I think, an 18-year-old, I think 18 or 20-year-old girl. And he was trying to convince her, here, you know, hold this gun, here, take this gun, take this gun to see what it's like, you know, whatever. And I guess she's pushing away and bang, she's dead. And then, he, before the police get there, he's telling everybody, uh, well, 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 "Say the gun fell off." So tell everybody, you know, fell off the, on the on the floor and discharged. So you would have that if you had my rule in effect of if there's anybody injured, you don't fucking. But if if it was put into effect, believe me, and I, and I told you, I know these people, they do not want to lose the right to be able to have a gun, and so they would be damn careful, a lot more careful, wouldn't eliminate everything, wouldn't totally do away with all the accidental firearm shootings and, and situations like that, but it would help because, you know, they do not want to, they want to be able to carry that gun and they want to be able to own guns, they want to be able to buy guns, so they would be very careful, they'd be thinking then, what can I do? Maybe you could do the same thing with these people, and I'm thinking of several celebrities, but I'm sure it's a lot of other people. These people who are going to the airport and they they just forgot that they had a gun in their in their purse, or they they forgot that they had the gun in uh, their carry-on luggage or whatever. Just they just forgot about that. If you if you made the rule made the law, and it, it, if it could be enforced, I mean, and then it would be, okay, it, sure, we're, you know, uh, people have poor memories, uh, you know, people don't, but, but that's it, no more guns for you ever. Believe me, I don't know how many guns, there's a lot from what the news reports say of people taking them, you know, to the airport or whatever and, and forgetting that they had it. Let's say it's, 200 at the airport, say it's 200 a, a month of people trying to go through that. And, oh, I didn't know I had that. You know, if you made it a rule, a law or whatever, if you try to go through the airport thing 
and you have a gun that you have forgot about, that's fine. They're not going to uh, they're not going to take their nightsticks out and beat you with the nightsticks. They're not going to taser you with a taser. They're not even going to, of course, they're going to run you a background check and that type of They're not even going to put you into jail. But you will never, ever be able to own a gun. So if you had, say, 200 a month going through the airport, I think it'd get down to like five. You know, and those would be people who really maybe had, maybe they had early, maybe they had Alzheimer's coming on or something. Believe me, the number would be cut down. But anyway, why this is in a Christmas video, I do not know. But anyway, I hope you have a great holiday season. And I hope that 2014 is going to be just great for all of us. Thank you very much for watching.